Alrighty, so now we're going to go ahead and complete problem four. And um, basically here we're going to be using the SUVOT formulas. So let's go ahead and be careful and make sure we're doing this properly. So we have a 747 starting from rest. It needs to get up to about 90 meters per second in order to take off. Uh, we have a value for its acceleration. We need to know the distance it needs to calculate. Uh, we need the distance it needs to reach its speed. And we want to know how much time it takes. So um, we don't know how far it needs to go. Starts from rest means u equals zero, v is 90 meters per second, our acceleration is three meters per second squared. Please pay attention to units so you know where things go. And then our time is unknown. So let's go ahead and get the distance. So I'll use v squared is u squared plus 2as. And that's going to be 90 squared equals 0 squared plus 2 times 3 times s. That's going to give us um, 8100 equals 6s. And when we divide both sides by 6, we're going to end up getting a distance of 30. Well, let me try that again. Um, whoops. We're going to end up getting a distance of 1350 meters. I just want to kind of clean this up a little bit just so we can read it a little bit better. Um, so that's 1,350 meters. Awesome. Now let's go ahead and get the time. So we have V equals A, whoops, V equals A T plus U, and that's going to be um, 3 times t plus u, which is 0. And v itself is going to equal 90. So let's just uh, work all that math out over here. So 90 equals a, which is 3, times t plus 0. So t ends up being 30 seconds. So we have a time and we have a distance. And let me just double check my math on that. So, yep, we're good. All right. So for part B, we have a car moving at 30 meters per second. That's the initial velocity. It's going to stop the wall it's going to hit is 60 meters away. We want to know the acceleration and we want to know the time. So let's first get the acceleration. So we have v squared is u squared plus 2as. That's going to be 0 squared equals 30 squared plus 2 times a times 60. So we're going to end up getting, when we simplify, negative 900 equals 120 times A. That's going to give us an A of negative 7.5 meters per second squared. That makes sense. The car is moving forward and the acceleration is backwards. Now let's get the time. So we have V equals AT plus U. So that's going to be 0 equals negative, sorry, 0 equals negative 7.5t plus 30. And um, that's going to give us negative 30 equals negative 7.5t. And while I'm at it, I'm just going to put a box around our acceleration answer so we have that. And so I'm going to end up getting t is negative 30 over negative 7.5. And that's going to give us 4 seconds worth of time. So that's the answer to part B. So that's question number 4.